Lorraine and today I'm gonna be cooking turnips and kale greens so I have three bunches of turnip greens here they the long roots and I have the kale nice size kale and I have some um, green onion. I'm gonna chop up some uh, onions to put in there too. Just a little bit, probably half of this half. If that makes sense. <laughs> and I'm add a little garlic to it and um, some vinegar, apple cider vinegar. And I got some chicken broth. And also, uh, the water, when I clean the greens, the water from the greens will make it a little bit more watery so it can cook down. Uh, these greens probably need to cook about an hour, maybe an hour and a half. Uh, the turnips, uh, I'm not sure if they, uh, well, somebody told me that these particular turnip greens have to cook a little longer because they tougher, but we'll see. I usually don't cook it for like maybe an hour and a half. Uh, and chunks that. of country ham. I'm gonna put that in there. Makes it taste so good. Um, I'm gonna have, uh, I'm, I'm gonna put some salt in there and a little bit of sugar, like a tablespoon of sugar, just to make sure that the greens are not bitter. So that takes away that bitter taste. So I'm gonna put about a tablespoon of uh, sugar in there. And also, um, I might put some crushed peppers in there because I like it with a little kick. So I probably put some, um, a little bit of that in there. That's about it. If anything else, you know I already show what I'm doing. So you'll see that. Um, and that's it. Let's get cooking. So I just want to let you know the other ingredient that I'm gonna put in the greens would be some either olive oil. I usually use the olive oil and I don't measure, I just pour a little bit in there. Um, I don't know, that might be a tablespoon or two. I'm not sure, I never measure. But um, I'm gonna add the olive oil in there just so the greens will cook well. And I like that, you know, like the greens cook really well. And uh, if you don't have olive oil, use some uh, vegetable oil. That'll work. Mm. 